Hello, everybody, and welcome to our next uh, latest episode of Without Context Podcast. Uh, I am Deca Volte. I'll be doing the hosting duties for today. Uh, with me are three of my four guest uh, hosts. Uh, we've got Duck, got Anxiety Lasagna, and we've got Sharky Hat. Uh, and today, uh, I let slip in one of the episodes past that I famously do not watch anime. And everyone's given me that look of, like, how dare you? This tan um, bearded male is disappointed <laughs> in you. I'm just noticing, like, how tanned I am for my job. Amazing. <laughs> just so bad. Uh, so, uh, and for reference, I go to, like, anime conventions all the time. I take pictures of people, and I don't know what the hell anime they're from. Yeah, I mean, what, just last weekend at the time of recording like what last weekend you went to san japan or whatever yep so <laughs> i took pictures of a really nice bowsette you think i rec uh, do you know what think i know where they came from nope bowsette's not even anime she's just a video sure game. Not. she was I'm, I'm she was a meme jo- i'm making a joke guys <laughs> making oh <a> joke. sorry <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, ignore me i don't no 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 it's it's good it's good and um little- so Reason yep. it's us four. Uh, Alvin had something uh, come up, so Sky won't be joining us this unfortunately. week, unfortunately. But he'll hopefully be back uh, next week. Don't worry, that Shang Chi episode's coming. <laughs> it is. I've he's seen it. I've seen Great. it, and I'm pretty sure two of the three may see it this upcoming weekend. So hopefully, it's we coming. can have a bonus episode or something where we Just discuss about that it because for two hours. It's good. Bonus context. Bonus context. Bonus context. <laughs> bump bump. Uh, so, um, back to this episode, I'm going to give the floor, starting from Sharky and going up in that, in that weird, weird L shape. Um, and they're going to recommend me anime because they know, they either know me very well or they don't. And it's funny. <laughs> uh, we'll start with Sharky. Hat. All right. Well, I'm going to get the, get it right off the discussion floor because I feel like anybody who has like preconceived notions of anime and what it's all about uh will be blown away by Cowboy Bebop. It's probably like the anime if you ever want somebody to watch an anime for the first time. This is the kind of show that doesn't have like all the crazy effects or crazy powers. It's just the story of a few bounty hunters in space tied into the story of the main character and his lost love and it has a heavy like jazz influence by Yoko Kano, who is going to relate to my second uh, suggestion <laughs> because Yoko Kano is a great uh, composer in anime. Uh, she's done Cowboy Bebop, uh, some Gundam, Escalflone, a bunch of like older animes, and she's awesome. But uh, yeah, basically, it's just a jazz infused bounty hunter tale. Uh, Nothing crazy, like no crazy superpowers. So, I mean, there's spaceships and everything, but like the mar- it's martial art. It has some martial arts. It has very basic like weaponry, and it's just a really good story. Spike's story throughout that whole series is just really good, and it it's mostly like an episode of the week kind of format. But then you'll have these episodes dedicated to Spike in his past, and I think those are the best episodes in the series. And I think it's it's a pretty bite sized series. I only think it's about twelve episodes. So, I mean, half hour or twelve episodes, you can power through that in a day, and it's amazing. Who can power through that in a day? And I mean, that's like I got, I have had Kristen start watching some anime. We started with like the Studio Ghibli films. I uh, showed her uh, Castle in the Sky, which is one of my favorite uh, anime movies because it's just wonderful. Um. But after we get through a few more of those, I might sit her down with me because we watch shows together, like Power Through Room and everything. So I might uh, sit down and have her watch Cowboy Bebop with me again as like her first uh, anime foray. Eat, boop, sneak, sneak. And um, my second option, which is one of my favorite ones in recent memory, is uh, I believe from 2007. It's a show called Darker Than Black. And it is another kind of dramatic anime. Like every episode, episodes are kind of slower. It's more of a storytelling anime rather than like every episode is a crazy fight or a crazy concept kind of thing. It's actually a pretty basic concept. It's 
um, a few years prior to the start of the series, a kind of weird area appeared in Japan. And one also appeared, I think, in Brazil, if I remember correctly. And at that time, people around the world started displaying some kind of superhuman abilities. It's uh, not like pure super, like human and everything, but they all have like a very unique ability to them. But it comes at the cost of they lose all basic human emotions. And they're then hired by like governments and uh, organizations and everything to kind of serve as like the perfect assassins because they don't feel anything. And the story follows one of them, uh, a character named Hay, and um, his story is trying uh, and how he relates to like what was going on in individuals that are trying to get into, I believe it's Hell's Gate or Heaven's Gate. It's this area that's been walled off. But yes, what did you say the character's name was? <laughs> it's either Hay or He. I can't remember. Okay, H E H E I. Hey, okay. Just making sure I, I heard it right. Yeah. Continue, sorry. It's like, it's been a while since I've watched it. I can't remember the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. But, um... Yeah, it's like this... The world they built is interesting, but the stories between uh, Hey and his, like, group of people and the other contractors that they find, that's the name that they've been given, uh, it's very... It's a very interesting story, it's, but it's definitely like a more slow burn kind of story. Um, and I would recommend the first season of that because the second season kind of character assassinates the main character and ruins the plot a little bit. <laughs> they kind of convolute it some a little more than it might already be. But uh, I think this goes into like one of the issues I have with anime in, in general, and it this is actually just like an issue I have with serialized TV in general, I guess. Because yeah. everyone's always like, oh yeah, the first issue, or it's either, it's always either, it's great the first season, or after the after the first season, it gets better. It's one of the two. It can't just stay at a consistent level the whole time. Uh, related to uh, Pretty Little Liars that me and Kristen are watching right now. Apparently, like, the first three seasons are great and make sense. There are some moments that I've been like, they could have just avoided this by like talking to somebody. So, but I guess it's like because of plot, they the girls just don't tell anybody anything. Uh, but after that, it like officially like jumps the shark to like soap opera levels of plot twists and everything. And I was like, they drew four more seasons out of this. So it dies in Spanish. <laughs> it dies in Spanish. <laughs> but um. And yeah, Yoko Kano does the music for uh, Dark and the Black also. So the soundtracks are really unique in each of their respects. Um, and some of the other stuff she's done is great too. Stuff like Wolf's Rain, which is just a uh, trip of trauma, if you want to watch that one. And uh, they did. she did like some of the Mechross series, which are just fun space, like fighting aliens kind of anime. Uh, but yeah, those two. Are definitely like up there. Cowboy Bebop's kind of like the pinnacle, I think, of like mm -hmm. a beginning anime. Because once you get that out of the way, I mean, nothing else is going to live up to it. But it's like it's also not like absurd in its concept. It's just a really well written story. And Darker Than Black is cool if you just kind of want like a nice character driven drama with some like superhero fights in it between normal people that just have like powers. I think, I think a lot of people, uh, when they talk about Cowboy Bebop, uh, I always get the sense that people are, are like, "Yeah, I watched this when I was twelve, and I've ch been chasing that high ever since." Yeah, it, like the reason it keeps getting rerun on Toonami and Adult Swim was mm -hmm. because of how good it was. <laughs> like it's and the thing is, like I said, it's bite sized I'm pretty sure it's like twelve episodes, and it's just. Right. You have like one or the yeah. Did you guys see that they announced the cast for the live action Cowboy Bebop recently? The, I saw the picture that they posted, and I got to admit they look good. And then I saw that Yoko Kano is also doing the music for the live action version, so I was like, okay, they're actually going to keep the soundtrack, which is a big like plus. We're, hit, we're of hitting the all the we're checking all the boxes so far. I'm scared though because the live action 
photos of the cast don't have one of the characters in it. They're missing the character Ed. And I'm like, but they're great. Yes, Charlie. So, from what I read, Ed is going to be in it. Um, they're just literally not revealing Ed until the movie comes out. Awesome. I'm wondering if as, they're going to keep. Well uh, they I'm wondering if they're going to keep the thing because I'm pretty sure Ed was like a non-binary character either because they don't really establish. I think they establish like they mentioned that Ed's a girl, but they it looks like a young. It looks like a boy. So I, I can't remember they're, if it was like <laughs> yeah, it's like Ed, Ed is a non-binary icon. So yeah. I don't I don't remember them ever actually gendering Ed. I think yeah. it was like purposefully avoided. They yeah. purposely called them Ed whenever yeah. they could. I'm also happy that they do have a corgi though, because Ein deserves to be a live action character, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is also a. Uh, because there's a core in Cowboy Bebop named Ayn, and I'm pretty sure that's where Ruby pulled uh, Zvi out of, because Ayn means one, Zvi means two in mm -hmm. German, so I was like, that has to be a reference, right? It's just another Corgi with a German name. <laughs> so, Especially a numbering scheme like that. But, uh, but yeah, definitely uh, Cowboy Bebop, and I just have a soft space for Darker Than Black. I don't think a lot of people really remember it or give it a chance because of how slow it is but i don't think i ever saw it or I've, it's never crossed my circles like i've obviously heard of cowboy bebop it was whether or not i've watched yeah. it you know darker than black was one of the ones that i would would torrent every friday when a new episode dropped like i would download it with subs to watch it like back on my old computer at my parents house for legal reasons, he didn't actually <laughs> torrent anything. <laughs> For legal reasons, that is a joke. <laughs> like, how she, it's like, should, do we have a lawyer in this podcast yet? <laughs> Not yet. I, I got several degrees, but a JD ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, passed the bar. Yeah, so that uh, was yeah. one. And there's, like, there's definitely like a lot of others that I could think about, but I think those two... If you just like a more like character driven stuff rather than just like every episode being like this intense like spectacle, is definitely uh, those two I think would be my suggestions. I am a fan of uh, like I do I because I've obviously seen like pictures and gifts and you know clips here and there of Cowboy Bebop. I am a fan of the aesthetic of the show. Uh, like a uh, it's not post apocalyptic, but it's it's like still gritty sci-fi yeah it's a real it's like realistic sci-fi mm -hmm. it's a it's a jazz western basically yes in terms of how the aesthetic is yeah Charlie. if you've yes. seen firefly yes yes like take out the advancements in technology and add jazz and there you go <laughs> yeah it's basically i'm i, I can't remember if there was anything like talked about it, but I'm pretty sure Firefly exists because of Cowboy Bebop. Because I can't one remember which one. I can't remember run. which one came first. Cowboy I think Bebop. I think Cowboy pretty Bebop sure was Cowboy late Bebop. '90s, early 2000s. So, all right. Well, that was. Those are some lovely suggestions. Um, I'm actually gonna look into the. I because I've seen clips, gifs, and stuff of Cowboy Bebop. I actually look into the other one. And uh, darker than black, uh, the running joke is the main character is basically uh, electric Chinese Batman. So <laughs> I I changed my mind. You know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> That's like kind of like the the fandom's like running name for him. So electric Chinese Batman. Yeah, that's that sure is something. But uh, yeah, those would be uh, my suggestions. I mean. There are other ones that I could throw out, but I don't remember enough about them. Mm -hmm. I just remember like enjoying the shows, like Wolf's Rain. Uh, I mean, Outlaw Star is great, but that one can kind of be like definitely '90s. Like if you watch it, you'll be like, "Oh, yeah, this might not have aged as well, but it's still fun." Yeah. So well, I pass and... the I pass it off to somebody. All right, what you got for me, anxiety? So. Uh, oh ironically, not the one on my shirt, which is called Seraph of the End Vampire I mean, Rain. So I, I my, liked it. I have my hero, and I have suggested. Yeah, I just I love my bar. idiot sons, but not the one I'm <laughs> recommending. I have a couple. Okay. 
Okay. Um, since we're able to talk about more than one. Yeah. Uh, I tend to go more towards the like slice of life, like story character driven mm-hmm. rather than like your action-y shows. There's like, this is more of an action-y show. Oh, definitely. Uh, but they're stupid idiot children and I love them. But uh, my favorite anime of all time is Fruits Basket. It is a classic sort of shoujo anime, which is like anime that's geared towards girls. Uh, It's about this recently orphaned high school student named Toru Honda. Uh, She just lost her mom recently and by a series of circumstances ends up staying with members of the Soma family who have a really fun family secret, which I will tell you because they reveal it in the first episode. Uh, Whenever someone in the family is like embraced or like prolonged touch with a member of the opposite sex, Uh, They turn into one of the animals of the Chinese Zodiac and hilarity ensues. Uh, Trauma, generational trauma is explored. Uh, They did a version in 2001, which I do not recommend the 2001 version. I recommend the 2019 remake. All three seasons are beautiful. Love all of them. Uh, but it's basically about each of the characters kind of navigating like a complex toxic family dynamic and breaking out of these roles of generational trauma, embracing their own like sense of self and individuality and taking control of their own destiny and a romance subplot. They try and market it to you as a, a love triangle, but they actually handle it well, how it resolves itself um but that's my favorite anime of all time (laughs) i i cry to it regularly um there is like a really unhealthy relationship in it which i won't like obviously i'm not gonna tell you who it is but like there is one really bad uh romantic relationship which like we don't we don't like it over in these parts But if you're looking for like a a romance, sappy sort of slice of life, but also it's going to make you cry a whole bunch, Fruits Basket. Um, Yes. Do you watch it subbed or dubbed? So I have really bad ADHD. So I Uh can't like look at a picture and read at the same time. So I tend to personally gravitate towards dubs. Okay. I've only ever seen Fruits Basket in the dub because that's okay. what I watched it uh, for the first time when I was 11 and they brought back the original voice cast from 2001 when they did the remake. So like Laura Bailey is in it. Um, Most, other lot... people whose names I remember. <laughs> Jerry Jewell plays my personal favorite character, Kyo Soma, who I've been in love with since I was 11 years old. I am now 29. <laughs> Uh, so my feelings towards him are more complex because he stayed a teenager and I'm an adult woman. Um, but I know people who watched it in the sub and really enjoyed it, and I watched it in the dub and really enjoy it. But I tend to watch dubs because I can't read and look at a picture at the same time. Yes, Shruggy? Oh, yeah, adding on, uh, you can completely watch Cowboy Bebop dubbed because Steve Blum is the voice of Spike, and it's probably, like, a perfect English dub. Like, it is great. So. It is a good one. I don't think I've ever seen Cowboy Bebop subbed. I think I've only ever watched it dubbed. And it's still wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Fruits Basket. My first recommendation. What is happening outside? Are you, you're having the thunderstorm, right? Yeah, I'm having a thunderstorm. I just felt, it sounded like my house was like in an ice cube maker for a second. Like it was hitting the yeah, house I did, so hard. I did hear that. So, um, is it hailing? No, it's just, it's just raining hard as fuck, apparently. Geez. Apparently it's supposed to go on for like the next like 12 hours. So that's why you, before this podcast started, I told Decca, hey, can you record also as like a backup in <laughs> case my power goes out? Because <laughs> um, the part of uh, Virginia I live in, uh, a light breeze and a storm sometimes knocks out my power, so. <laughs> it looks like you're in the attic, too, so. Oh, no, this is just the second floor. We have the house with the stupid, like, oh. angled ceilings up here. I've hit my head on this wall standing up from my computer chair several times in the last week. So. Oh, no. Apologies. Continue, anxiety. 
Oh, no worries. So the second one, I won't go into too in depth because it's kind of like a, a personal one for me is Yuri sure. on Ice. It's okay. <laughs> I think that's technically marketed as a sports anime. Technically. Figure skating does occur. <laughs> And I used to competitively figure skate when I was a kid <laughs> and was probably like the favorite activity that I ever did as a kid. And I've gotten back into it recently and figure skating always is going to hold like a special place in my heart. And, but the story is about Yuri Kotsky, who is a Japanese elite figure skater and his journey from like hitting the lowest point of his career to like rediscovering his love for his craft, the sport of figure skating and really coming to terms with like him, like loving himself, he has like really bad anxiety and they do a really good job of portraying his anxiety disorder. Uh, there's also a queer romance plot with him and his rival turned coach, Victor Nikiborov, um, in a way that's not, like there's a whole genre of anime that just like fetishizes homosexual men rela male relationships mm -hmm. and this does not do that uh it is censored the one like outwardly romantic act that happens has been censored we're all very upset about it <laughs> um but it's and like they're they're it's ambiguous enough where a lot of people are like no they're just buddies and i'm like they're just friends in the way that like Hercules and Patroclus were just buddies like no like they love each other and I will die on this hill and it's done in a way that feels natural and isn't just like oh look they're boys and they like each other like it's very secondary to the main plot and I'm obsessed with it I watch it anytime I'm having a bad day uh so Yuri on Ice is a fun one that uh for me but whatever we don't have to we don't have to get too in depth on Yuri on Ice you can, you uh, can go in depth in it it's okay no, because uh, it gets real in the sauce of like how figure skating is scored and like uh, the big uh, tournament, like tournament style competition that happens in figure skating called the Grand Prix, mm -hmm. uh, where there's, I think there's like six competitions across the Grand Prix. You compete in two of them. You get like certain amount of points for how you place. You qualify, only six skaters qualify for the final. It's like this big deal. There's eventually, they teased it for us last year before COVID and everything stopped, but they're making, a. there's only one season of it. I think there's like 13 episodes, 12 or 13 episodes, uh, but they're doing a movie about Victor's first time competing in the Olympics, which is going to, I forget what it's called. Someone will tell me in the comments or I'll post it myself in the comments when I remember what it's <laughs> called. But we've been eagerly awaiting it for many years. This anime came out in like 2015 or 2016. I remember it. And it doesn't have a manga associated with it. So it was all like original content. They spent years like actually filming and observing figure skaters and competitions. And it kind of took the figure skating world by storm because of how like accurately and respectfully it sort of uh, portrayed the sport in ways that like other figure skating media really has it where they like play up the drama rather than like what the sport's really about which is figure skating but i've been yammering about figure skating <laughs> uh my last recommendation which is another one of my favorite ones is called wotakoi love is hard for otaku and he the reason i love this show is most romance anime at least in the spheres that i look at often involve high school students so when you're out of high school, you feel weird sort of like projecting onto <laughs> these children because that's what I do, project. <laughs> and Wotakoi, which uh, its theme song went viral on TikTok a while back because there's like hand movements that they do in the opening. And it became like a dance challenge on TikTok. But this is about an adult woman probably like in her early to mid 20s who just got out of a relationship had to like leave her job because he was her coworker, and she's starting a new job and just like navigating adult relationships in general so like she does have a romantic interest that she meets and it's like her classmate from middle school that she's reconnecting with and then she like making and keeping adult friends which is weird i don't know if it's weird for anybody else but it's like super weird for me but I, they I all have Go ahead. I, I have not made new friends since high school. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> like I have, like, there are people that I knew, like, in high school that I wasn't friends with, but there were still people that I knew in high school. I don't think I've made a, <sighs> maybe I have, but it was like, after. I'm right whatever... here, you bastard. I think I still knew you technically when I was in my senior year. <laughs> so... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, if not, like. In high school, it was like within the few years after high school, I guess that's when I met a lot of people like Decca and Charlie. But I think past 25, I don't think I've made a lot of new friends. <laughs> like, right? It's so odd. So, crack like, it up in a cold one with the boys. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thirsty. <laughs> and for those listening on Spotify, it was a Dr. Pepper. Um, one day, those but it's about me. like. <laughs> navigating adult relationships and that includes friendships if they all have like a nerd quirk some are more uncomfortable than others like uh the f- the main girl is really into like he- sh- i think she writes and draws like yaoi manga which is like it's people are into it i respect it not my not my thing uh the guy that she's dating sorry i moved my setup by accident uh the guy that she ends up dating uh, is a game like an antisocial gamer so like anytime he gets like time off from like they're like oh go take a 15 minute break he just like pulls out his like console just like <laughs> gaming all the time and he collects the like figurines of like she th- in one episode she gets really self-conscious because all of his like gamer statues have like really big titty women on it and she's not of the over the shoulder boulder holder committee uh, that's that's not a girl the... as much as you want it to be, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like something that they talk through. And he's just like, just because like these things have giant boobs doesn't mean like I dislike you because yours are not like these girls. And it's like mm-hmm. weird, like weird things that you encounter when you're like a nerd. Uh, the female friend she makes is a famous cosplayer at cons and her boyfriend. I think he's like the most like normal of them because i think he's just into like some kind of manga that escapes me i think it's probably like some kind of lewd manga or something interesting i don't know but it's it was refreshing watching it because it was like i can actually relate to these fully adult people versus like ah yes i remember high school and having to stay after school for student council meetings (laughs) like I'm not going to meet my, the love of my life at a student council meeting. Like, can you freaking imagine? Um, no, but I that's can't. why I like <laughs> Woe Decoy. It's it. I, there's only one season, but there's also manga, which I have not read. I'm bad at reading manga because I, I, I like reading lots of words and not having lots of pictures. So it's also expensive. Like I had to stop buying so when I was in high school buying manga, I had to stop. I was like, she was like 15 bucks a piece. <laughs> like I could be buying like so much more food or something with this money. That's pizza for the night. That, that's yeah. Pizza. Like what I would pay <laughs> per is. volume. Cause like I bought the manga for the shirt that I'm wearing Seraph of the end. Yeah. Because I liked the show, and there was only one season. They made a second season, which was also very good that I liked. Um, I bought the manga like a weirdo, and now like all the books that I just bought from the A Court of Thorns and Roses books were like I can get a six hundred page novel for the same price as like <laughs> one volume of manga. <laughs> yeah, it... and those aren't even long. Like I can read them in like. 30 minutes and i'm like i could have a 600 page novel it's just a long com it's just a long comic book it i can probably read it in the same amount of time i read a comic book and i'm paying like six bucks for comic books so Mm -hmm. so yeah those are my suggestions they definitely fall more towards like slice of life romance if that's not your genre I ain't got nothing for you i'm sorry i was actually gonna say you you kind of sold me towards the last one um just because i do i do like uh as a 32 year old person um not having to project through high school children my high school life sucked i don't want to go back to it in i mean big big same but in fruits baskets defense the main three characters are in the latter years of high school but it also follows several of the adults in their life who are also part of this curse because there's 13 of them because they include the cat from the story which is kyo the love of my life 
sorry to my fiance. He already knows this. Um, they do follow some more adult plot lines, but they're but the main characters are in high school. So Wodakoi is great. Watch Wodakoi. <laughs> sure. I don't ever want to go back to high school because finding a yearbook for my freshman year, I realized that I looked like Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie. I looked which, at my freshman picture one? and wondered where my chin was. <laughs> like I and had this answer the, the question of which Ed? <laughs> the one, one with no chin. Okay. <laughs> like I looked at my freshman picture and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, where's my I showed it to my friends? I was like, where's my chin? <laughs> like it was just like the realization. I was like, I forgot that I looked like this. <laughs> Charlie knew me in high school, so looking at me today, Charlie, could you even imagine? <laughs> I am so happy that you were more yourself. <laughs> I, so I, tangent, I have a sister that's like one year older than me, so she was like responsible for like deciding where we would shop and what sort of clothes that we wore, so I was like an Abercrombie Hollister prep girl in high school. Oh my god. Ooh. And now I'm the emo, e-girl, sad girl bitch that I wanted to be in high school now that I'm 29. I was uh, I was not proud of my high school fashion. Uh, Who was? There was the entire year of uh, Converse's jeans, army jacket with the rolled up sleeves, and the, uh, the, the hat, the hat that's like, not an actual hat, but it's like the squarish one that has like the like a little bit of like the flat top like circular one the military hat uh, the like cadet hat not the kid not like a cadet hat i mean it's the same kind of i guess style to it but i had Do like the i had like episode? pins in it I had like pins in it from Hot Topic. High school photos. Oh, I please! Would roast oh. the shit out of high school, Haley. Oh my god! I so I wore so the arm. I one. wore the arm warmers, like the ones that had cut up at like the palm with like the thumb. Oh no! Ball. I wore those for a Save year. Save it for the episode, Trekkie. Save it for the episode. <laughs> I, I, I'm all right. Intentionally not going to be in that one specifically because I had uniforms in school. I I was the me that current me would beat up if I saw <laughs> them in public. <laughs> but anyway, Wodakoi, I can send you. I think it's I think it's an Amazon exclusive right now, which is deeply upsetting to me as an environmentalist. <laughs> but the first episode is for free on YouTube if you wanted to give it a try. Sure. Yeah. I uh, I will I will actually look at that. All cool. Right. I helped. Yes, you did. <laughs> Last but not least, Duck, what you got for me? All right, so I've got uh, three for you. Okay. Um, so the first one, since we're still talking about like high school and that sort of era, uh, is called Given. And it's very much a slice of life anime. Um, <laughs> I have no about... idea what that reaction is. <laughs> Why would that reaction you say is that? She's seen Given. <laughs> Um, so it's about a high school student, uh, Mafiu, um, and he, he meets this person by carrying around his guitar, um, and it's a fellow high school student, uh, and they notice, like, his strings are all rusty, like, it's out of tune and everything, um, and Mafiu ends up, like, begging, uh, I think his name is, uh, Ritz Ritsuka, um, he ends up, like, begging him to teach him, you know, how to take care of the guitar, how to play, all that. So he gets invited to his band practice. Um, it's just sort of this evolution and also sort of queer love story um, between them and how that evolves. And it's handled very well. It's handled very much as an actual, like, relationship, like, these are feelings, but he's a guy. I don't know how to deal with this. It's sort of sort of very a, a coming out story. It's wonderfully done. Um, it's only it's only one season. I think it's eleven or twelve episodes. Um, but highly recommend that. Okay, you got me um, so far. Sorry, the... <laughs> I actually have the YouTube video on. Sorry, ignore me. <laughs> the, the second one got me into an entire subgenre of anime. Uh, it's called Kuroko's Basketball. And uh, I threw this on as background noise. 
didn't care about it. Uh, I was, you know, going through the big depression and I was like, I just need, <laughs> need something there. Don't care what it is. Sure. Uh, and it gets to like episode 13 and something catches my eye as it's on my laptop. And I just kind of like stare at it for five minutes. And I was like, God damn it. Now I got to watch this. <laughs> um, it's really well done. Uh, all sports anime that I've watched uh, ends up being really well done. You can learn the entire sport just from watching anime. Uh, yeah, we'll go with uh, <laughs> Deca first. Um, so I actually know a little bit about Kuroko's Basket because uh, I've seen there's like certain like past moves that they use in the game that I've seen or in the anime rather that I've seen. Uh, they've they've shown Manu Ginobili of the Spurs do the same moves. There's like, like a there's like a side by side comparison of them doing it in the anime versus Manu Ginobili doing it. It's very good. Chef's kiss. Haley. I'm gonna argue that there is a sports anime that is done. Eh, and it's free Eternal Summer. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I said that I've seen. That you've I haven't seen watched yes. free yet. <laughs> free is great if you want a lot of fan service of shirtless high school boys. It's and a uh, homoerotic subtext that borderlines on queer baiting, but I yeah, so it was that the, the, swimming anime that took over two summers of the internet. <laughs> the parody show is honest to God better. Fifty percent off is better if you want oh something. I, I don't know how well it has aged, but at the time, was that it a was YouTube really thing or is that actual like? That's okay, because it's an like Octopimp because thing. yeah, because I was say it's like a show called Free with a parody called Fifty Percent Off. It's like that sounds like an abridged series. I just it wasn't is. sure because Japan has done weirder things, so I didn't know if it was like an Gintama. official parody. Yeah, the Gintama's general a whole rule. weird adventure. The general rule of thumb is, especially if it's a sports anime, the more exclamation points it has after it, <laughs> the more fan servicey and queer subtext into queer baiting it gets it's your your control being yuri on ice versus free (laughs) how many exclamation points does free have one three has three how many (laughs) is yuri on ice now i gotta look that up i want to say yuri has two it's like the hotness scale at like a wing place (laughs) it's like how spicy do you want your wing has three and it's not queer baity it actually is queer it's just free. That's like I think in Maybe the in the free. yeah because in the in the I'm sorry I will shut up I promise. Uh, in the okay. abridged series, there's a, an episode where they're like we're gonna play gay chicken, and then they wimp <laughs> out, and I'm like yeah you mean the whole show is a game of gay chicken, <laughs> but I'm shutting up now. Uh, so yeah. to go to go back to Kuroko's basketball, um, it's about the titular Kuroko. Um, he's real short for a basketball player he's like five four i think something like that like straight up like should not be playing like high school collegiate basketball according straight to height uh and it's about how him how he uses that as an advantage of being overlooked to redirect and like be that sixth man where someone isn't expecting him. Um, and it very easily could have like stayed with that and stayed like, yeah, you know, he's great because of this. Sure. Um, but as they continue in like the tournaments and everything, and they meet stronger and stronger teams, it stops working because people can start to read him. And so then it's about what happens when you start hitting that wall And how do you evolve and overcome it? Um, And I think a lot of the reason like sports animes end up speaking to me in particular is I've always valued that like camaraderie, that companionship, that like we're going to push each other to do better. Yeah, we might fight. We're going to pick each other back up, things like that. Um, And like I played on a sports team in high school. I played lacrosse. It was... Mm -hmm. A thing because it was a high school sport yeah um but really this like idealizes what it could be and so like kuroko's basketball got me into like one or two more basketball anime i started watching a bicycling one um 
Uh, big one is the the volleyball one. As soon as I can think of what it's called, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. I've watched like two seasons of it, and my brain's just dead because it's after a twelve hour shift at work. <laughs> um, Charlie lives vicariously so yeah. through sports anime. <laughs> <laughs> um, and finally, the last one, uh, I love because it takes a trope and turns it on its head. Um. And if you really want someone to talk to about it, I'm pretty sure Alvin's wife, Sarah, absolutely loves it. Um, but it's Puella Magi Madoka Magica. And from all of your reactions, I can tell that you at least have some experience with it. Yep. The, uh, the get your head in the game memes. <laughs> my therapist told me I'm not allowed to watch it. <laughs> It's on my your not therapist. allowed list. <laughs> your therapist is doing a great job. <laughs> I, um, I I asked him. I was like, I'm gonna watch the show called Neon Genesis Evangelion. He just goes, No, no, that's no. the show you watch that sends you to therapy. <laughs> so for me, shout out to Ross. Good job, buddy. <laughs> my, for me, my this anime sent me to therapy is a tie between Sword Art Online and Attack on Titan. But fair. Um. So Puella. Uh, Madoka Magica. It starts out standard, like magical girl, very tropey anime. Like, here's, you know, this magical being. They're going to help you in your time of need, you know, all of that. And it very, very quickly devolves into, oh, oh no, this is not, oh no, what just happened? <laughs> oh, becoming and a magical girl gave me villains? <laughs> It's like <laughs> yeah there's there's only so much you can say without spoiling yeah. the entire thing it isn't... the the entire run is 12 episodes i think so and there's like um, there's like movies and i think multiple seasons or i know there's like at least like my own action yeah i think there's i think there's like three movies too oh maybe i know the the entire series is like 13 episodes like that's it which is my sweet spot for anime is like 13 to 26 episodes. That's all I want. Yeah. I can watch it, binge it in like one day. Perfect. Classic anime setup. Uh, one season, 26 episodes. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> uh, so if if you really enjoy stories that play up a trope and then do a 180 from it and explore like what this genre could be, absolutely it's that, it's that recommend <laughs> Madoka. It's that one. <laughs> uh, yeah so those are my three real recommendations if you want something that you can like watch forever because there is no end to it just just watch one piece just start one piece it's you'll a, why would you do you that know? to yourself though why would you okay. do that you watch one piece in english for the opening okay. I'll, I'll, let go. <laughs> so, right. so you watch it for that and then you're like, all right, I'm like two seasons in. Let me keep watching. And then you're like 300 episodes in. And you're like, all right, it's got to be done soon, right? And no. you look. And it's just like, oh. I, okay. It's like me and Naruto. Like, I've started yeah. Naruto like seven times. And I always get to the tuning exams. I never get past the tuning exams. And then I exams. like fall off like, <laughs> and like forget that I'm That's watching funny. it. And then I'm like, oh, shit, let me just start over from the beginnings. I don't remember. And then I get to the tuning exams. And then I'm like. I get to or like when someone was like, Haley, watch Dragon Ball Z and they just scream at each other for like twenty five minutes an episode. I'm like, I can't. They're charging up. It's fine. I watch up to Rock Lee and Gara and then I stop watching the show. <laughs> like fair. Uh, I simped so hard for Gara <laughs> as a kid, but that's a different episode. <laughs> but uh, we're doing an episode on simping soon. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm ready. For that one. No, I'm I have. Ready. Everyone's first I waifu. I have uh, first waifu Sail Sailor Jupiter. Anyway, <laughs> she was the smart, tall, boyish one, and I liked her. I um, used to have six Kylo Ren and Funko Pops. I <laughs> brought that down to three, you know, but then over here I have two itty bitties of Kylo. So no, because like... if we're gonna do a simping episode, we have to get Wiffles on. That, yeah, that's what yes, like. we have to get Wiffles on. She's still Just for Strahd. She's still Strahd posting. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, wait! Sh there's another Strahd simp in the world. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my no. god! I want to be friends. Oh I no. Do you you've, remember? You've interacted. Wiffles? You've interacted with her in the comments. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's she's great. Wiffles, if but, you're uh, watching, 
Let's let's <laughs> chat about Daddy Strahd. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, the comments that are going to be on this. But one. Uh, real quick, back to One Piece for a second. I have coworkers. I had to go to a community college for a few months for my apprenticeship to like get classes done. They were watching it. They had started it months before I did that. I came back from that. They're still watching it, trying to finish it. Oh yeah, it's like months. And the guy, even if at work, watch- even at work on like the days where we have nothing to do, he's watching episodes on his phone, and he's still not finishing. <laughs> like if it's you just- watch an episode a day, it would take you over like four years i think at this point to get through it and that's the thing is like there's still stuff coming out so it just keeps going Mm -hmm. it keeps adding (laughs) yeah my my cousin in germany was watching one piece when i went over to visit them in 2016 and i was like homie first of all a german dub is wild (laughs) especially because i don't speak german so it was really wild hearing like Luffy yelling at me in German, but I was like, "Buddy!" And then I slid Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood across the table. That's a good. And Brother, he was able to watch the English one. dub, and he was like, "You're allowed to call him Führer." I'm like, "That is a weird thing that we're allowed to do here." <laughs> Germany doesn't legally well, allow you to do that. <laughs> no, so he's just called King Bradley. They are the German dub. The he's Germans like, yeah, are... it's weird hearing it say Fjall King, and I'm like, oh god, you said Ooh. it like the Germans do. Yeah, they are. Uh, <laughs> they don't. Appre- they do not appreciate their own history, and I can applaud them for it though, because like they are trying to not think about that. <laughs> they were on vacation. <laughs> they were on vacation. <laughs> was key. This is what happens when a business, all the good employees leave, and all the bad employees run the business for a period of time. So, Decca. Yes anime rex what do you which one what do you think you're gonna watch first i actually have a confession for all of you i'm not watching any of these (laughs) no 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 no. he wasted our time i no 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 no. it's not that uh i have completed a single anime from beginning to end with movie it is I'll, i'll i'll i'm gonna let you guys guess it it is one season oh sorry it's two seasons and a film what year? It's don't, I don't know if it has a film. It's it's like an OVA. But my guess, surely based on length, FLCL. No. Fully Cooly, you mean? Fully no. Cooly. It's not Fully Cooly. That's another one you should watch because it's just weird. It's fun yeah, and it's weird. I watched it at, I've watched it when there's nothing else on at 3 a.m. on Adult Swim, sure. It's just like it's just like Adult Swim at three AM when you're asleep in bed and you hear the Inuyasha ending song and you wake up and watch the ending song. You wake up and start to cry. Did Yu Yu Hakusho have? It's not Yu Yu Hakusho. More than two. Okay. Yeah. What year? Can we have one more hint? Is it like an uh, old one? Uh, let me check. Give me the year. And by old, I mean like what? What would we cut off as old? Like nineties. Two thousand, like before two thousand five, or like before two thousand ten. Okay, it is older than two thousand five, or older sorry, than younger than younger than newer than two thousand five. Sorry, so okay, so post two thousand five. Yes, uh, I'm gonna give each of you one more guess. I will start with Sharky. It can't be Nor. No, Noragami doesn't have a movie. It's Can not I get a genre? High school. High school. Okay. Um. It isn't, it, it cannot be, like, oh, God, what's the stupid, mm. it's right here, give me a second. I don't know, I wouldn't classify I like how you picked high school. high school as an anime genre. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not Two wrong. Two seasons in a but... movie. Hmm. Two seasons in, like, an OVA or film or whatever. Okay. Um... It can't be the one that's the game, right? It's a, It doesn't have a video game. Uh, there's no video game elements to it, no? Okay. My Um, guess, I guess, will be is Assassination Classroom. That's it! (laughs) I was was literally (laughs) looking it up. And I was like, is that two seasons? I think that's two seasons. I've watched watched Assassination Classroom from beginning to end. I've seen scenes of Assassination Classroom. I had no idea how many seasons it had. I didn't know if it had an OVA or a movie, so just... Hearing that, I was like, I would have never guessed it. Oh. Like, <laughs> well done. Uh, I can my hear other the guess is be, what is the game? What is the game show that has Junko and Ashima in it? 
Do uh, fucking Dororora? Is Dor- that it? No, it's not Dororora. It's it's uh. No, it's 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 a video Gang- game. Gangrums. Danganronpa. Uh, Danganronpa. Danganronpa. <laughs> I know it because it's a video game. Yeah. Trauma. Yes. Trauma. Uh, so, so yeah. That's so we've given him good recommendations. Oh, yes. What is? Real rec- quick, go around, give me a shitty one. <laughs> yeah, just like, give like... Do we have to have watched all of it? No, but it's just like, just throw an anime, like, that you might have liked. Oh, that I but liked? It, that's bad? Oh my that, god, I No, it's so like, many. you like bad, or it's like, it's just one of the ones that's like, oh, there's like, things in here that like, normal people might be like, oof. <laughs> so... Or on High School Host Club. Or on High Aged School like Club a fine milk. <laughs> Aged like a fine milk. Loved that shit back in the day. Watched it recently. <laughs> you got you got one, Sharky. I do. It's a uh, oh god. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna get Spin com- it out, Sharky. I'm gonna wow. get I'm gonna get comments or like freaking uh like notions about it because I actually had to like it's based on a light novel, so it's already like trash. Oh boy. So, here we go. But I had to actually look up the light novel like summaries for stuff that hasn't aired just to feel less weird about the show. Spit it out. <laughs> it was a. It was one on. I saw on Netflix. It was a the irregular at Magic High School, and it's oh. a world where magic exists as like a science and everything. So like magic, magic is like done with technology basically, and. uh the thing that was like weirding me out is that it's one of those things where it's like the main girl and her brother are the main characters and her brother's like the author's like male insert self where he's like the oh. coolest where he's like oh. the coolest one. He has like the oh, best no. powers, but it also has like the oh, the sister's in love with him. So I was oh, like, no. I was like, OK, before that I continue more often than you'd think. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can name one off the top of my head. Um, uh, Vampire Knight. Yeah. That was like a triple incest thing. But I had to, like, I had brother, to look up. Her grandfather's ghost in his body. Yeah, I had to look up the light novel, and I was like, "Please tell me this is not the case." So I'm like reading summaries of like the future like novels that haven't been adapted yet, and it's like, it turns out he's not. And I'm like, "Oh, thank God, I can enjoy the show a little bit more." <laughs> so, <laughs> like the Mortal Instruments. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, Duck, you got one. Uh, Bad one what, that you like. One that I liked is that aged like fine milk. Yes. Uh, honestly, and I'm gonna get flack for it. <laughs> Digimon, like it was amazing. <laughs> but if you go back and watch it, like they oh. controversial. They oh. had kids in America in the movie as like the theme song, <laughs> and it's okay. a Japanese show. Do not shit on the Digimon movie. You can catch like, these hands. They're rated I'm, E for I'm everyone. Love, I love Digimon. But if you go back and watch like season one, like it is rough to watch as an adult. That's why I like a uh, try the remake that they've done of them older. Try is really the well done. three uh, Digimon try movies, mm-hmm. where it's like them can like I... years after and stuff. That one was good. Yes, can Haley. I add one more? I don't know if it technically counts as an anime, but it's on Netflix and it changed my life. Sure. Neo Yokio, which is the Jaden Smith. That's the Jaden Smith anime. anime. <laughs> it is wild. I loved it. I could not tell you the plot of it, even though I've watched it three times. All I know is that one of my friends from grad school was like, You're going to want to watch this. And it has Jaden Smith. His butler is a robot voiced by Jude Law. Uh, his mom or his grandmother is voiced by like Susan Sarandon. It makes no sense. And the only thing I can recommend is watch it with a giant Toblerone. Because that is uh, actually no, essential I, to the plot. I do know that meme would be like, you're not worthy of this giant Toblerone. She was not there... worthy of that giant Toblerone. She Stuff wasn't. like that reminds me of XL Saga, which was like a mid 2000s anime. Every episode was a parody of anime tropes, Gintama but the o- but the overarching plot made no sense. We never figured out why Pablo's wife left him. We never figured out why XL is working for the person she's working for. It's just, it's so weird. <laughs> like, 
but uh, a caveat irregular is actually really good for like the fight scenes and just the the art style but yeah you gotta kind of grit your teeth through that subplot a little bit <laughs> don't so. watch oran it's uh it manages to be homophobic uh queer baby and transphobic all in the same show so <laughs> let it die we don't need a season two all right well after this these great like <laughs> entries um i actually am gonna like what I'll probably do is like go back to this episode when it drops on Friday and like listen to it again. And be like, hmm, just kind of like let it marinate for a little bit. Um, yep. but... I would be up. Just watch it, finish it, and then understand that nothing else will live up to it. <laughs> it makes it easier uh, to that's... watch everything else because you're not expecting anything to like surpass that. <laughs> so... yes, let's say you have to pick one from each of us. Okay. Definitely watch Cowboy Bebop from Sharky. Mm hmm. What was the last one? Whoa, Dokoi. Love is hard for Otaku. I haven't seen it, but from the description. It does sound pretty absolutely. good. Absolutely. Uh, and from everyone's reaction, watch Given. Just, I, just... I didn't have a reaction because I have never heard of it. So. Oh, well, you the were reacting song, to Ailey's the reaction. The song he performs. I don't know what that I means. I hear it and I'm just like. I don't know what that means. And now we want to hear from you out there yeah, get in the comments they're anime to all of us like yeah recommend all, all of us, of us. What? i don't uh, have time i'll watch. take your What's recommendations me. i'll take recommendations i don't have time to watch it but <laughs> i'll take recommendations get in the comments talk to us about your favorite anime and what makes it your favorite is it a bad anime talk about it it's okay there's nothing to be ashamed of unless it's around high school and then i will shame you big i will shame. shame you in the comments That's big right. shame whiffles uh we see you with Castlevania already. You vampire <laughs> thing. <laughs> is Castlevania Whiffles technically an anime? Be my friend. Yes. <laughs> is Castlevania technically an anime, or would it fall in line with like the same kind of style as like Avatar, where it's like American it's anime? It's Western inspired Ooh. by anime. I feel because yeah. it was done it's... by a, a Western company. Because uh, if that's the case, then yeah, watch Castlevania also. That's good. That's... Can we have? We could have an episode about Castlevania because I have so many things I need we to could. say about it. We need to get the Shroud Simpin. Like if we watch movie that, movie. we need to get the Shroud Simpin. <laughs> I have so many things I need to say about that show, but... We should levels. just do a vampire episode at this point. Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's almost Halloween! That's it true! It's Halloween! Oh my god, I'll cosplay. Who should I cosplay? You know, Clearly a vampire. How about that? Let's establish that now. Every week we'll for just... October, let's talk about a spooky subject. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I'm into that. Wait, do we want to do a Monster of the Week? Is that what we're doing? Technically, it's like, let's talk about Castlevania, let's talk about stuff. Well, Halloween, let's make it spooky. Okay, spooky. cool. Tell us about your favorite animes down in the comments. <laughs> I want to get flamed for my choices, and I'll probably list more of them because I like so many. Uh, also, like, give us spoopy stuff to look at between now and Halloween. It'll help. But not too It'll spooky. It'll be better. But not too spoopy. Not I'm too a bitch spooky. baby. Think of me, <laughs> who's too scared to watch Disney's The Haunted Mansion. This the Unless Eddie Murphy it's like movie? Prison Peak. <laughs> I can scare you right now. Oh no. <laughs> or on high school. <laughs> that's not just scary. That's just making physically that's ill. <laughs> like... that, mouth, that mouth noise you made was unreal. I'd, I'd say a joke, but we'll, I'll tell it to you when we're done recording. Sure. <laughs> uh, we also have a Spotify, which you can listen to us on. You may be listening to us, and we thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, in the YouTube description, you can find all of our information if you want to look at our stuff. Uh, and there's a flow page that you can look at more of our stuff down below. Um, I am Dekavolti, the Sharky, Anxiety, and Duck. This has been Without Context, and you kind of saw a little bit of our creative meeting in the middle of it. So uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's end the show before we get more of it. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, everybody.